For those who enjoy Snapchat, it could be on the forefront of a burgeoning new technology. I'm Sasha Wood here on IO to tell you about how Snapchat could be the first social augmented reality platform. Let's get started. It was recently announced that Snapchat has overtaken Twitter in the amount of DUAs, which stands for daily active users, as it continues its climb to become one of the most popular social media outlets among the youth demographic. One of the things users truly enjoy about this app are the filters, all those little add-ons you can use to make your picture crazy and a lot of fun. But those filters are are more than just a good time. They showcase a growing technology, that of augmented reality. Augmented reality being when graphics are projected into a physical scene, augmenting what is already there. I know, such clever titling. So it's not the same as virtual reality, which is the computer generated simulation of a three dimensional image or environment that can be interacted with in a seemingly physical way by a person using special electronic equipment. Many people do confuse the two. Augmented reality modifies the actual environment, while virtual reality creates a new one. Though the two could conceivably become more and more interchangeable as the technologies develop, we'll have to see. So why is all of this significant? Well, Microsoft is developing goggles, which they call the HoloLens, and Google is developing room scanning technology in its project Tango. But both of those projects are still in the developmental stage. Snapchat is not only already using this technology, but has already monetized it. This means that they have actually become the first to really see what this augmented reality can do in practice outside of the simulation phase. Each time a new filter is made or tested, they learn something new about how far they can go. Analyst Robert Peck stated, Snapchat uses facial recognition technology to create a live and interactive image the user can play with before snapping the final picture. While it may not be as ambitious as holodeck glasses, looking forward to that by the way Microsoft, it is still a larger step than most would first assume. According to statistics, Snapchat is engaged with by 41% of millennials each day, and they spend on average 20 seconds playing with a new sponsored filter. This is significant when compared to engagement with a YouTube ad, which most users will skip if given the chance 5 seconds in. Basically, Snapchat has found a very clever way to hide its advertisement by advertising the very service that you are using within it. Facebook and Twitter are slightly concerned as an increase in Snapchat users may mean a decrease in potential traffic to their social media outlets, which might be part of all these new changes they are unveiling on their platform vis-a-vis -vis video streaming, another form of interactivity. But that is just all speculation. Many predict that this new technology will serve to make Snapchat more and more interactive as the years go on, securing its position as the first social augmented media platform. Not bad for what many people thought of as an app only useful for sexting and nude pictures. Are you guys Snapchat users? Do you love the filters? Share your faves down below. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching IO. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff, and more videos over there so you can watch right now. Catch you next time. Bye bye.